Hi learners, welcome to the third topic in the English Speaking Skills Enhancement module. This module focuses on movie oral commentary. And in this third topic, okay, our focus is on the plots in a movie. So you will be exposed on how to make comments on a plot. There are three topic learning outcomes for this lesson. Firstly, by the end of the lesson, learners should be able to understand the definition of a plot in a movie. Secondly, learners should be able to identify the types of plots in a movie. And lastly, learners should be able to make comments on a plot in a movie. Let me give an overview of this lesson. In this lesson, three topics will be covered. The first one is on the plot. So the definition of a plot will be explained. Secondly, types of plots in a movie will be discussed. And last one, learners will be exposed on the steps to make comment on a plot in a movie. So these are the three topics that will be covered in this lesson. Let us start with the first section, that is, what is a plot? A plot is a series of events. It is the most important element in a movie, and that is why it is also known as the backbone of a movie. Plots are the results of choices or decisions taken by the characters to overcome the conflict. Next, the discussion will be focused on the types of plots in a movie. There are five types of plots. The first one is known as exposition. This is the plot where major characters are introduced, especially the protagonist. And this is also where major conflicts are revealed. So during the exposition, the protagonist's backstory is shown so that the viewers can understand the protagonist's characters, behavior, and also the way the protagonist would think in that movie. The second type of plot is known as the rising action. This is the plot where the main conflict can be known clearly. During this plot, as the action progresses, you can see that multiple moments of conflict happened and create tension as the story moves toward the climax. The third type of plot is called climax. This is the peak of the story where the protagonist faces the most difficult moment in his or her life. So during the climax, the protagonist has to make a life-altering decision, a hard decision, and viewers can feel the tension during the climax. And this is the point where it makes viewers to keep watching until the end. The fourth type of plot is falling action. During this plot, the action is moving to it conclusion and this plot reveals the consequences of the decision taken by the protagonist. The protagonist has to deal after the turning point of the story. And the last type of plot is resolution. This is the plot where the conflict is resolved so the loose ends of the storyline are tied up. But there are also cliffhanger scenes so that there is further development in the plot line. So these are all the five type of plots that you need to know. To make your understanding better, let me explain about the plots using the plot diagram. The plot begins with the exposition, which is represented by the horizontal line. Why horizontal line? Because during this plot, there is no conflict yet. And this is the plot where the characters and setting are introduced. So this is the exposition plot. So when the conflict arises, so we assume that this is the point where the conflict appears in a movie, the rising action plot begins. So the rising action plot is re represented by the line moving upward towards the highest peak. 
so this is the rising action the rising action consists of multiple moments of conflict faced by the protagonist so when the conflict reaches its highest peak so we assume that this is the highest peak another plot comes in which is known as the climax and this is the moment that the protagonist faces the most difficult time in his or her life and this is where the protagonist needs to make an important decision in his life once the protagonist makes a decision during the climax stage the following action plot begins so the plot is represented by the line moving downward to reflect that the solution is about to be reached and this is the plot that reveals the effects of the decision taken by the protagonist okay, so this is the falling action plot the last plot is resolution and it is represented by the horizontal line so this is the resolution plot similar to the exposition plot the resolution is a plot where the conflict is solved so no more conflict and that is why it is represented by a horizontal line and this is where the viewers get to know how the conflict is solved by the protagonist and viewers can see that the protagonist's life turns to normal like before so these are all the five plots in a movie that you need to know the last session for our discussion is on how to comment on a plot in a movie let us now discuss on the steps in making comments on a plot so the first step is to identify the conflict of the story you may ask this question to lead you to the conflict what is the problem in the story the second step is to select a plot for example if you feel that you want to make comments on the climax then choose that plot okay, and focus your comments on that plot then in the third step ask yourself on what should be shown during the climax plot next in the fourth step compare what you observe in the climax plot with what the climax plot should show based on your comparisons in the fifth step you can come out with your comments lastly in the sixth step support your comments with evidence extracted from the plot that you have taken to make the comments on with that i hope that you are ready to make comments on a plot let's discuss on one example on how to make comments on a plot i will use the movie hacksaw ridge since i feel that the movie is interesting the plots are easy to be followed and the main conflict is easily observed so the first step in making a comment is to identify the conflict so in hacksaw ridge the main conflict in the movie is the internal conflict faced by the protagonist in the movie named desmond Doss. therefore the conflict identified is person versus self the second step is to identify the plot so in this movie i decide to focus on the climax because i feel that i can relate the climax with the conflict and i can give good comments on the plot the next step is for me to do the analysis so i will analyze the plot that i have chosen which is the climax the next step is for me to compare my expectation okay, with what i have seen so i will compare my expectation of the climax to what the climax in the movie has shown and based on my comparison this is the fifth step i will list my comments and the last step is for me to support my comments with the evidence that I have extracted from the climax plot. With that, all the steps are completed 
and I am ready to prepare for my commentary on the plot.